Hello everyone, this is Ankit Jain. I welcome you all to my channel Tech Journey with Ankit. In today's quick tech session, we will explore how we can enable the SSO login in Salesforce. In this quick tech, we will enable the user to login inside the Salesforce with LinkedIn credential. So let's get started with the SSO implementation then. So to get started, the first thing that we will do here is we will navigate to the auth provider. So on the setup menu, search here for the auth provider. Here we will go and create an auth provider for the LinkedIn. So as I want to enable the SSO login for the LinkedIn, I am selecting, selecting here the auth provider as the LinkedIn. You can give a name here as LinkedIn as well. URL prefix, keep it as a default. You don't have to put any other details here except go and uncheck this SOAP API responses as well. Next to that, you have to go and in, uh, create the registration handler. Again, it will be automatically created by the Salesforce. You just have to click on this link and the registration handler will be created as soon as you go and save the record. Next thing that you have to do here is you have to put the registration as. So registration as will be generally the system administrator user as I'm on the scratch org and I do have only one user. I'm selecting that user here. Right? Ideally, you should go and create the system administrator user whenever you are selecting the registration as. Next thing that you can go and put the icon URL. You can go to the Google and look for the LinkedIn PNG image. So here, let's say I'm taking this PNG image from the link from the Google and copying the address, image address, and let me go and paste it here. Okay, so this is my image address. Again, if you don't want to use this kind of email address from the Google, you can also use the sample icons that Salesforce have provided. It's completely up to you what you want to do. You can also use any of these icons as well. For example, let's say if I want to use this icon, this is the PNG image that Salesforce have provided. You can use this PNG image as well. Okay, so let me keep this PNG image only and click on save. As soon as I go and say, click on the save, Salesforce will create the registration handler for me. This is the registration handler that Salesforce have created. Now you just have to go and modify this registration handler as per the LinkedIn registration handler requirement. So let me go and do that. I'm clicking on the edit button here. You can see I'm editing the Apex class. You can also do this edit from the developer console as well as from the Visual code as well. So in this Apex class, I don't need this can create user method. So I'm taking out this can create user from here. And I'm also taking out this can create user invocation from here. Again, I don't want to enable this SSO login for now for the community. So I'm taking out that part as well. So my SSO login will be enabled for the users who will be logging into the Salesforce from the standard login. So let me take out that SSO login as well. Now here what they are doing, they do have one method which takes three parameters. Portal ID is the one and auth user data is the second. Here they are creating the user. First they are initializing the user object. After that they are creating the user with the standard user profile. In case your business requirement wants that the LinkedIn logged in user needs to be with some another profile. Definitely you can go and modify this registration handler and put the other profile name. For the time being, I'm okay with this profile. So I'm keeping the system standard user only. Now on the username part, they have all Salesforce have also put the instruction that whenever you are putting the username, make sure that the username is unique. The best way to do the username unique, at least on the test org is just go and put your uh, instance URL. Definitely in the ideal scenario, whenever you are working for the production or for the client, you should go and put the uh, domain. You, you, you just go and put the user domain as per your company's requirement. So here I go and put the username again in for the LinkedIn login. We don't have any attribute as username. So we have to make sure that wherever we do have the username, we are replacing it with the first name. So I'm doing these changes on the line number 17, where from the data I am getting the first name and I'm appending this information to create the username. Another thing on the alias creation also, we do have the username. So I am changing this with the first name as well. So I'm populating the email, last name, first name. I'm generating the alias here. As we know, the alias maximum characters length will be the eight character. So we are taking the substring of eight characters from the name. 
next thing here is we are populating the alias now you have to go and populate the local key let me populate the local key not from the user info but i want my local key let's say to be the en underscore us and my local id key as well the same so i am changing this too so i am populating the local key and the local id key as en underscore us here next thing encoding key i am keeping as by default and the profile id that whatever the profile that we have retrieved i am keeping that profile here next thing in case you want to modify the update user you can also do that as well let's say for the update user if you don't need email to be changed anytime you can definitely go and take out the email it's completely up to your business requirement how you want to modify this simple apex class okay so i believe my changes has been done on this apex class let me go and save this now so we have created the auth provider we have modified the apex class as per our requirement now the next thing that we have to do here is we have to add this linkedin login on our login page to do that the third step that you have to follow here is you have to go and search for the my domain here in the my domain what you will do you will go to the authentication configuration section what you will do you will go to the authentication configuration section and here you will click on the edit as soon as you clicked on the edit you can see that as you have created the linkedin authentication provider one more option available for the login that is the linkedin service so i clicked on this linkedin here and click on save now i do have the two authentication services one is the login form that is the standard login form from the user and second one is the linkedin you can also go and perform the validation whether the service is working as expected or not on the auth provider they give one validation link in case you just want to perform the validation whether the authentication is working successful or not you can use this test only initialization url copy this url open the incognito mode and paste that url here in case the authentication is successful you will get the response from the linkedin so i have put my linkedin credential here you can see that my authentication is successful and i am getting this user details from the linkedin right so i believe my authentication is working as expected now let's go and try to log in into my salesforce org with the linkedin credential so let's copy the instance url from here and again go back to the incognito mode paste that into the browser window and click on enter you can see that now i do have another option for login that is login with linkedin right i do not have to go and username and password to login into my salesforce org i can directly click on this button for the first time login it will ask me for the authentication right as i already tested the authentication you can see that now i am logged in inside my salesforce org you can also go back and check whether the user is created for you or not so again navigate back to the users open the user section you can see as we have logged in successfully a user record is created for me if you scroll down to the login information you will see that the way i logged in is from the third party account link which is the linkedin right and i have used the linkedin authentication provider so for the logged in i have used the third party sso and my logged in is successful as soon as our logged in is successful login history is generated and our user is also created in the salesforce org so from the next time let's say i have to go and perform the login it will not ask me for any authentication detail it will directly keep get me logged in inside the org right this is how folks we can work on the sso and enable the user to logged in inside the salesforce with the linkedin credential i hope you like this quick tech session if yes make sure you subscribe the youtube channel and hit the bell icon as well thank you